Hey there, it's Allison Tibbs here, and I want to create a quick video to talk a little bit about um, some things that I've been hearing lately from people. Um, if you've ever been a person that's had a goal, let's say you want to lose weight or you want to start a business, and you kind of get into the thick of things and you just say, oh, it's not working, this isn't working, I don't know what's going on, it's just not working. If you've ever said that, or if you're saying that right now, I'm going to flip the script and I'm going to ask you, are you working? And when I say, are you working, I mean, are you taking full responsibility of the actions, habits, behaviors, and beliefs that are necessary to reach those goals or reach that, that dream or to make that thing happen? I have a lot of people as a fitness and you know fitness coach and personal trainer, I have a lot of people that will say, you know, I've been trying to lose weight for the past like six months and nothing's working. And when I flip the script and say, okay, let's talk about your nutrition. But if you're telling me that you're eating the same food that you've been eating forever and it's full of refined and processed and preservative filled foods, then no joke you're not seeing results. You're not seeing your body changing because you're putting the wrong type of fuel into your body. Or you're saying you want to lose weight, but you're not working out because you're you don't like waking up in the mornings or you're not a good person to like, um, you know, you, you don't like to wake up early to work out. Well, you know what? Tough cookies. If that's what you want, then you have to do the work that's required and take full responsibility and ownership of what's required to get that goal met. And a lot of people, and I fall victim to this as well. There have been times where I just don't want to do it. Um, the thing is, the basic mechanics of what you need to reach your goals, it's going to require sacrifice, it's going to require commitment, consistency, but ultimately it's going to require you to take ownership of that and to make it happen and to do it. So you can't use excuse, it's not working. Chances are, if it's not working, you may need to take a look at your mirror, look in the mirror and say, Am I working? Am I doing the work that needs to be done? And if you're not, that means you're not taking full responsibility. And I learned this um, reading, I can't remember the book I read, I think it was a compound effect, maybe it was that book. But I think it said, you are 100% responsible for what you put into what, what's needed for that goal to be met. Yes, life will be tough, circumstances may happen, but I know for a fact, I never want to say, well yes, this happened and that was tough, but I didn't give my all anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. I know when I give 100% into anything, the momentum that's created from that typically seems to defy the odds of my circumstances because I was willing to do the work. And a lot of times, those things that we need, those basic mechanics, are easy to do, but they're also easy not to do. So I'm challenging you today. Do the work. Get comfortable being uncomfortable and take full responsibility and ownership for your success and what's needed to get to that success. The sacrifices, the tasks, the habits, the beliefs, the mindsets, all of those things you can control. And if you can at least do your part, I guarantee that everything else can start to move together to move you closer to reaching that goal. So do the work. Make it happen. Hopefully this gives you some motivation for your Monday and for the rest of the week. Talk to you later. Remember, be strong, be healthy, and be you.